Professor Dr. Tracy Alloway. Thank you so much for coming in on this Saturday Thanks morning. So I would have loved it if you would have brought some coloring books. <laughs> I should have. That would be right? a fun way to spend the morning. Enjoyable <laughs> and therapeutic, apparently. Exactly. Tell me about this. This is amazing. Yeah, so there's been some growing research looking at coloring specifically. And, you know, coloring, people love coloring, even right. when you're a child or an adult. But most of the research is focused primarily on college students and rather than people who could really benefit from the mental health benefits of coloring. So we specifically chose a mandala for a couple of re uh, reasons. One, it's complex enough to maintain attention, but um, it allows them also just not to have to engage too much. So you have that minimal engagement. There's also suggestion that the mandala kind of calms the inner chaos. So researchers have compared coloring a mandala with just a plaid design and found that it's the mandala specifically that seems to have a very calming effect in reducing anxiety and reducing stress. And that's, that's what we found with our veterans too. And that's very interesting. We compared coloring with what we called free drawing. So we basically gave them a piece of paper that was blank and said, you have 20 minutes, draw whatever you like. Now, interestingly about that, we found that some veterans found that more stressful because they wanted that structure. They wanted us to be able to say, do this and not do this. But the benefit of just drawing on a blank piece of paper is that we found huge improvements to working memory. That's kind of your active memory that you use to process information. We do know that with veterans in general, especially if they have PTSD, we notice a decline in their working memory, possibly because of the stress it's experienced as part of their job and so on. And so, you know, just picking up a piece of paper and right. saying, I have 20 minutes, I'm going to draw something, really engages your working memory. You have to have a goal. You have to think, what am I going to draw? You have to plan. And so those are great ways just to have a quick boost for your working memory. And hopefully they're still coloring at home today. Yes. Fascinating. Thank <laughs> you so much for coming. Thank in, you Dr. for having me. Thank you.